a Germanic faction. Yeah, Battlefield and Battlefront hype. I have Battlefield and Battlefront one and two. I actually got two before one, and I got two in two thousand six, and then one in two thousand seven. I mean, I've been waiting for Battlefront 3, like they said it was coming out in 2009, and then, but then they cancelled it. And they also cancelled, an, um, an, I think, Rogue Squadron, like another one. Anyway, back to the faction. Uh, this is uh, Swebby, like I said. There are one of the two playable Germanic factions in the campaign. The other is the Marcomani, or the Marcomani. And, um, however, Swebby is the only playable one in multiple, multiplayer. Ugh. They have a bunch of sword units. Before, um, before Emperor Edition, they only had Club Levy, Blood Swarm, Berserkers and Swordmasters, and before, before um, before Emperor Edition, they had Spear Levy, Spear Brothers, Knight Hunters, and Wooden Ass Spears. They also had Longbow Hunters, Slingers, Germanic Youths, but they didn't have Horse Runners. They had these two, Missile Cav, and everything else. This the um special unit in this. And this um, faction, without any DLCs, is the Berserkers, which I'll get into in a minute. So let's start with the Generals, the Wilderness Spears, Spear Unit, uh, 38 attack, 30 weapon damage. Uh, I think it's split between 22 damage and 8, no, 24 da base damage and 6 armor piercing. Pretty nice unit to have. They have 15 bonus versus large, 20 uh, charge bonus, 29 charge bonus, 69 melee defense, 50 armor, 65 health, and 70 morale. They also have expert charge defense, cavalry counter tactics, and something that only the Germans have: wedge. Wedge is a pretty nice tool to have when you're going on the offensive. I mean, I used to never use wedge until I realized its value. Wedge, the value of Wedge just makes your charge bonuses a little bit more um, stronger, but at the cost of melee defense and acceleration, which means that you'll probably, um, your, your men will probably be moving slightly slower than they would be at me with it when they're not in Wedge. You'd go to Noble Riders, they're basically the German variant of no, Noble Horse that the Barbarians have. So nothing really special. They too have Wedge, but I mean most Cav units I think have either Wedge or Diamond Formation. Swordmasters are a variant of Oathsworn. They're weaker, but they too have Wedge. Nothing really special about them. 43 attack, 40 damage. They have 5 less damage than Oathsworn. They have 32 charge, 67 melee defense, 80 armor, 70 health, and 70 morale. You go into club levy, I mean melee infantry. The Germans um, benefit the most from um, from these two units. I mean before Emperor Edition, they benefited the most from Blood Swore. But, I mean, overall they suck in general. Like, I mean, you put these guys up against Cav, they'll get massacred. You can charge any cav unit. I prefer like a medium tier 2 cav. Like citizen cav over shocks because shocks are kind of overkill. Anyway, club levy. They have 20 melee attack, 15 weapon damage, which is extremely low. However, they have 9 armor piercing and, and 6 base damage. If you ever bring club levy, you probably want to bring more than one because... Um, they actually work well together. And they have 16 charge, 41 melee defense, 40 armor, 50 health, and 30 morale. Bloodsworn, which are a better version of 
a club levy, have 38 attack, 15 damage. All clubs will have at least 9 armor piercing. Like, they might have, like, certain units in the future. Well, actually, I don't think there will be any future. So, let me rephrase that. All clubs, all club wielding units will have 15 damage. 9, nine armor piercing, 6 base damage. They will also always have 10 bonus versus infantry because it's a club. Clubs are good for smashing people, obviously. Charge bonus is 33, which is good for this unit. Melee defense is 49, armor is 20, which is low. Um, health is 55, base morale is 55. Round shield swordsmen, which were added, I think, a little bit before Emperor Edition came out. 40 melee attack, 34 weapon damage, no bonus versus entry, 24 charge, 39 melee defense, 40 armor, 55 health, 45 morale. Hex bearers came with the Daughters of Mars DLC. The, these girls, or gals I should say, aren't, they're not a really special unit in melee, however they're a very good support unit. Now here's why. They have 60 women in their uh, unit. Um, melee attack is 50, which is good. 34 um, weapon damage. No bonus versus infantry. 16 charge. 31 melee defense, which means they die somewhat fast. 40 armor. 40 armor 45 health. 50 base morale. Now here's why they have why they're a good support unit. They scare everyone except elephants. Uh, and they also have this thing called Curse. Um, both the... I always consider Suebi to be the the opposite of the Iceni, which are the British version of... Uh, they're, they're the Brits in Rome too, basically. And the reason why is because... Well, I should probably bring them up. The, these girls have this called Curse, which lowers morale, and it does a pretty good job when it lowers morale too. And the, the British equivalent is the Druidic Nobles, which have Chant. I always like using this ability because it, it, it sounds nice. The sound effect sounds nice and um, it raises morale by 30, which is pretty good. But anyway, back to this faction. Cur uh, curse, you can use every two, three minutes, about three minutes, and curse used in with um, a good charge bonus from any of these sword units is able to break a lot of a lot of types of infantry. I haven't seen it break a hoplite unit, however, that's probably because um, I haven't done it in a while. Move over to wolf warriors. These guys are. In a tier 3 version of the Club Living Blood Swarm. You can only get them with the uh, Beasts of War DLC. Yeah, Beasts of War. They have 42 melee attack, 15 weapon damage. For all clubs, they have 15 damage. Bonus versus infantry is 10, charge is 35, melee defense is 56, armor is 20, health is 55, base morale is 65. Now here's what this unit specializes in. It specializes in hitting hard and r routing the first line, the first unit that they fight. And they can do it to almost any unit. I've seen them take down Praetorians pretty easily. They have scare everyone and they have frenzy. You use Frenzy to um, give you that bonus versus whatever unit you're fighting. However, be careful because if they fight too hard, they'll become exhausted when it's done. Now here's a key unit. Berserkers. Berserkers, Berserkers. If you, if you know anything about Berserkers, you know that they're wild men. Just like Hexbearers, they have 60 men. Uh, 60 men in their unit. However, unlike them, they have 56 melee attack, 25 weapon damage, 15 bonus versus infantry. Like, do not 
do not use them against one legionary unit or one Praetorian guard because they'll still lose because they only have half the men. Charge is 51. Like, this is mad. I, I've never seen a unit have 51 uh, charge. 66 melee defense, 10 armor, which means you have to be very, very careful with them. Um, 10, 85 health, 75 morale. Now compared to other units, other units will have like 55 or 70. Even sword masters have 70. No, berserkers have 85. And the reason why is ex actually explained in the 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 um, text. If you like, if you go on the encyclopedia and look them up, you they'll you actually realize that they have they uh, take drugs before they go into battle. I've never really heard about these guys in history, but Apparently, they, I think they were a real, like, a real threat to Rome. Now, what makes these guys better than wolf warriors? This, berserk. Elephants can go berserk, berserkers can go berserk. Now, a berserk unit will, well, is uncontrollable regardless. However, berserkers benefit the most from berserk because they become... Their morale becomes impetuous, which means that that's the highest morale you can get. Now, as long as they don't get swarmed, they'll do a lot of, they'll wreak a lot of havoc and be almost unkillable during their berserk. They have headhunt and frenzy, which helps them get berserk. And the only way I've seen you be, be able to activate berserk is if you get a lot of kills initially. Like, if you get a lot of kills... Then what will happen is they will go berserk and they will become inc uncontrollable. It's easy to get a lot of kills with them because they, they frighten all enemy units. But yeah, enough hype for them. Sword masters, yep. Spear levy are a basic spear unit, nothing special. Spear brothers are a better version. Spear wall, they have 25 melee attack, 26 weapon damage, 15 bonus versus large. 23 charge, 81 melee defense, which is high. It's pretty high. It's higher than the, I think, even Wooden S Spears. Yeah. You guys, you put these guys into shield screen, they'll be able to, like, last extremely long. Unless, of course, they get hit in the back, too. Um, 60 armor, 60 health, 60, 55 morale. You can also put them into wedge if you don't want to use their shield screen. Spear women come with the Daughters of Mars pack. And they basically have 32 melee attack, which is good. 26 weapon damage, 15 bonus versus large. 23 charge, 50 melee defense, 55 armor, 50 health, 50 morale. Most people who use spear women tend to benefit from frenzied charge. And this just gives them like a lot of kills in the beginning of a, an engagement. However, afterwards, it hurts them. And that's why it's not a good idea to use them against high tier melee units. It might be a good idea if you know you're going to route them, but other than that, I wouldn't recommend it. You go over to Night Hunters. These guys are guerrilla based units. I'm pretty sure they can... Yeah, guerrilla deployment. They also scare everyone, which is an added feature. They have 35 melee attack, 26 weapon damage, 15 bonus versus large, 28 charge, 58 melee defense, 10 armor, 60 health, 55 morale. Night hunters are better for catching your opponent off guard and taking out his cavalry. They're pretty good at doing it too, if you use them right. Nothing special about them, same like Spearwoman, except they have guerrilla deployment, which means they can be put anywhere on the map, except in the enemy's um, deployment area. And then you have wooden ass spears. They're, they're your highest tier spear unit. 38 melee attack, 30 weapon damage. 15 bonus versus large, 29 charge, 69 melee defense, 50 armor, 65 health, and 70 morale. 
everything in the in for their missile infantry is regular. They have longbow hunters which have 125 range, but they also have.